Over the past week, executives from Netflix, the streaming TV and movie service known for bedeviling your aspirations of productivity, have been in Gatineau, Quebec at this TV conference where they've been clashing with the CRTC. Now, for anyone who needs a little refresher here, the CRTC is the Canadian Radio and Television Commission. They're basically a public regulatory body who is in place to make sure that radio and TV in Canada is Canadian enough. So if you're wondering why Canadian radio stations play Go For A Soda by Kim Mitchell every hour on the hour, the CRTC is the reason why. Now, for the past decade or so, the CRTC has mostly ignored web-based streaming services like Netflix. I guess they kind of hope that the internet would just go away and we'd all go back to listening to Beaver Bin Classic Rock and Fireside Radio broadcasts of Hockey Night in Canada and watching reruns of The King in Kensington and Mr. Dress Up. But around 2012, the CRTC woke up and realized that streaming services like Netflix were competing with traditional Canadian broadcasters. So they intervened to try to start regulating it so that they could, as they always say, keep the playing field level. Or to translate it, per Canadian media, keep the playing field terrible. So they've been asking Netflix to turn over user data for all their users in Canada, and Netflix has refused to do so. Good for them. In the current sort of media landscape of the internet and at-home streaming and downloading, the CRTC's regulations are harder to enforce. And I would say that this is a good thing. For too long, the CRTC has been very good at benefiting the producers of Canadian media, but not very good at benefiting the consumers of them. If Canadians really want a service where we can watch seasons of Spun Out or The Red Green Show and there was a necessary demand for it, I'm sure Netflix or some other streaming service would respond to it. But for now, it just kind of gives producers more money to make shows that collect dust so that they can be streamed out to nobody watching them and get more money to create more shows that just sit there and collect dust. And frankly, as a Netflix user, I think that they're pretty good about putting Canadian content on there. There's films and TV shows, and they've even been doing some original programming. I mean, if anyone saw the new season of Trailer Park Boys that went directly to Netflix, it was pretty funny.